Hi, I'm Hadley Condre from Omaha North. I'm a freshman. <laughs> I've known you since before I could remember, and they've been a part of my life since I was four. I've stopped introducing them as step-siblings ages ago. They were my brothers and my sister, nothing less and everything more. I share things with them that I never could with some people. Do you remember the time I threw his scooter in the street because he told me that the dragonflies were tiny fire-breathing dragons? Or how about when she'd stay up late FaceTiming her friends so I'd sit on the other side of our room pretending to be asleep so that I could listen in? And who can forget the, t the countless times you made me walk him to the store because he was too young to get candy by himself? But now those sweet times we'd walk to Hy-Vee on Sunday mornings to get donuts are just memories. Memories like when he was in the hospital. And I did everything I could to see him and be there for him. I was strong for him, and for four months, I didn't cry. Or when she and I differed in opinions, and we let the, the tension in the room grow so thick that all we could see is that we'd been sleeping in the same room as a stranger for over a decade. Or how about all the times he was a spoiled brat to my only blood brother, but I still put him in his place when your eyes told me that I was picking sides like you don't do it every single time. I never knew if you favored them or if you just didn't like us. And I lost sleep wondering how I could get to be as good as them in your eyes, the eyes that watched me grow into who I am today, the eyes that were a father to, mine, to me when mine was miles away. And now that I know the truth, I don't know if I'll have that anymore. I don't want to leave this house that I worked so hard to make a home. I don't want to move around again because all that ever taught me was that I could be, that I could run away from my problems and that that was okay. I never got attached because I was so scared I'd have to let go again. Scared that when we moved again, I would be ripped apart like Velcro after that one year lease was up. And I love you, but should I? Should I keep loving you when you aren't a part of my life anymore? Should I still want to see your car every time when I come home from school? How long am I going to miss you for? Or will I even miss you at all? Everything I really want to do right now is everything you always told me to stay away from. So tell me this. Will 11 years of love and guidance leave with you in your divorce papers?